Spring Daylight Savings Time will be here in just a few short days, and it may bring some frustrations with it. Young children and teenagers who may not yet be used to losing an hour of sleep could experience irritability and grogginess following the jump forward. Dr. Frederick Stein with the Metu Children's Hospital offers some advice to parents who may need help adjusting their children's sleep schedule. We know that even just an extra hour uh, or the lack thereof of sleep can have a huge impact, uh, not only on our children's behavior, but also, you know, as parents and adults, as those that have to, you know, that are taking care of the children uh, can affect our behavior as well. Um, when, whether we're falling, you know, back or springing forward, uh, we can definitely start to see, you know, grogginess and irritability in our toddlers um, and also in our teenagers too. You know, so many folks come into the pediatrician's office saying, oh, my kiddo just won't sleep. Um, I just want to remind everybody that there is no uh, substitute for really good sleep routine. Um, brush, bath, bed, the three B's, all right? Even for our teenagers, it's really important to make sure that they have a routine. When we have a routine, we get better sleep. When we get good sleep, we're better people. Make your ride one of a kind and see the experts at JM Custom Auto and Off Road. It's your customization candy store. Visit jmcustomauto.com and select your make and model. It's that easy. Window tinting, remote start, leather interiors, sound systems, front and rear bumpers, spray in bed liners, bed covers, wheels and tires, lift kits, step rails, even underglow lock kits, and so much more. If you can dream it, we can do it at JM Custom. On the other hand, there are some positive effects of daylight savings. An extra hour of daylight can go a long way for a child's mental and physical health. Um, one of the big things is just making sure they're actually spending time outside. So, you know, we are increasingly, you know, a, a, um, a staring at our phones and, you know, sitting inside on the couch society. So making sure that we're getting out there so that our bodies can feel the, the actual change in the environment, so that our eyes can perceive the change in the daylight. Just doing that can actually really help our bodies to adjust naturally to it. And as I mentioned, it's also important for parents to remind their children that, hey, you know, it's getting to be about time for us to go down or it's time to start the bedtime routine. Generally speaking, when we start that bedtime routine, we start sort of telling our children's brains that it's time to wind down. If we adjust the bedtime routine to a different time, our children's sleep habits will also adjust. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Nick Collum.